right back here with Phil Schreier, senior curator of the NRA's National Farms Museum. Phil, we're not in the Farms Museum. We're in an undisclosed location where you're sharing with us many treasures from Sagamore Hill from the home of Theodore Roosevelt. They're on loan here to the NRA National Farms Museum while they renovate the home up there. And we talked about, Phil, not only is there, are, are there firearms, beautiful farms, functional farms, there's also artifacts and there's art. So this is really neat, an intriguing picture. Tell us what you got here. Well, John, you know, uh, first off, thanks for having us on the show once again and allowing us the opportunity to share with the public something we're very excited about, and that's a, a loan from the Park Service, National Park Service, to the NRA's National Firearms Museum of Theodore Roosevelt's uh, personal items from his home, Sagamore Hill in Oyster Bay, New York. Uh, we uh, were very fortunate. Uh, we have a number of guns. Uh, his uniform from San Juan Hill, his sword and his hat. Uh, we've got taxidermies and rhinos and, and lions. Uh, but uh, one of the things that, uh, that we desperately wanted that also showed another facet of this wonderful individual, this true Renaissance man, uh, was uh, examples of the art that he collected. Mm. Now, uh, a lot, there are a lot of people out there that collect art. Roosevelt was, uh, knew most of the artists that he collected on a first-name basis. Uh, they were, he was personal friends with the likes of Frederick Remington and A.B. Frost and a number of these guys uh, that are now so, so well-regarded, you know, 100 years hence. Uh, he has original pieces that were basically, you know, one of gifts to him. Wow. Uh, and, and this is an example. Uh, this is an original Frederick Remington. Uh, I'm not exactly up to date on art, so I don't know exactly what medium uh, this is, but I, I do know that this is an original uh, piece by, by Frederick Remington. I, I'm guessing it looks like it's pastel. Pastel. I'm sure if somebody sees this, more, we'll, they'll correct me. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, the neat thing about it, Remington was in Cuba with him uh, in 1898. Uh, they became uh, great friends. Remington had a studio in New York. Uh, when uh, the Rough Riders were mustered out of service uh, at the end of uh, the, the summer, early fall of 1898 at uh, Camp Wyckoff on Montauk, Long Island, uh, as a parting tribute to their colonel, Colonel Roosevelt, the regiment had taken up a subscription and raised enough money to purchase uh, the Bronco Buster bronze from Frederick Remington. And he called that his most cherished possession. It sat at a position of high honor in the center of the uh, great fireplace in his North Hall at Sagamore Hill. Uh, it was one of the few things in the house we asked for that, that, we, that the Park Service didn't let us have because they had previously promised it to the Met. Uh, so that's at the Metropolitan Museum uh, right now. Uh, but we did get the other Remington. Uh, we got oh. this, uh, this beautiful piece. And this is just one of 40 works of original art, Jeez. lithographs, engravings uh, that we got. And it's, uh, uh, you know, there's 40 pieces like that. And then uh, we, uh, we also have uh, a dozen uh, bronzes, Jeez. original bronzes that. Uh, beautiful. Now this one is uh, called. Uh, the Crowded Hour, which was what uh, Theodore Roosevelt described his own, uh, in, you know, his own events of uh, San Juan Hill and Kettle Hill on July 1st, 1898. Uh, this shows the, uh, the president-to-be as a colonel of Rough Riders astride his, uh, his favorite steed, uh, Little Texas. Uh, and it's dated 1902 by the artist Kelly. Uh, and it shows the president uh, to be exactly as everybody, you know, thinks of him in popular culture. You know, all toothy grin, spectacles, uh, and uh, and raring into the uh, into the, the thick of things. And, and dare I say, you said he had a number of hats. That could be the hat we saw in another segment. It certainly could <laughs> or, be. Or a representation right. thereof. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, he... Uh, uh, obviously, uh, pro probably the artist knew the president and copied a lot of this from 
the original artifacts that, that may have been made available to him. Uh, interesting to note that uh, I did not find any s spectacles in his, in his hat. He was rumored to have stitched as many as five pairs of eyeglasses <laughs> into the brim of his hat just because he was terrified of losing wow. and not being able to see. Uh, so he took along five pairs of extra pairs of glasses, which he had stitched into the folds and brims of his hat to keep uh, to keep his eyes going. To the smart thinking. Yeah. And, and once again, Phil, this shows not only the the, the you, you call him and, and rightfully so a true Renaissance man. The diversity of the man, uh, just by all the things he collected, not only farms, but and it also brings this great diversity to this collection here at the Nashville Farms Museum. It's wonderful. It's not just farms. It's not just artifacts. It's beautiful works of art like this as well so thank you so much for sharing how can people come and see this for its limited engagement here at the national fires museum well john we hope that sometime by early june of 2012 we'll have theodore roosevelt trappings of an icon the uh, oval office of the summer white house open to the general public and that's uh here at the national firearms museum open seven days a week from 9 30 a.m to 5 p.m free admission, plenty of free parking. Uh, if you come during the week, you can enjoy a, a nice lunch like we did today uh, Absolutely. at the NRA Cafe. Uh, we're located at the intersection of Interstate 66 and U.S. Route 50 in Fairfax, Virginia. If you can't visit us off the interstate, visit us on the internet at nramuseum.com. I'm glad to say, I, I'm sorry to say this segment of the Curator's Corner is over, but we have more to come, more treasures to show you from this Teddy Roosevelt collection. So, so, so be here for the next Curator's Corner and definitely get out here and check out this, this treasure itself, the National Farms Museum. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, John.